from the central sir of the uh, state disaster disorder disaster relief fund for managing the relief activity in the aftermath of cyclone mikchang and for approving 561 crore for the urban flood mitigation project of chennai basin let me thank our home minister sri amit shah ji and defense minister sri rajnath singh ji for allowing the defense forces and the ndrf for continuously entering humanitarian aid and rescue assistance to the affected people sir the major flood in chennai due to the rainfall triggered by cyclone mikchang uh, from december 2nd is the third such occurring in the last 8 years the project funded through the assistance from the disaster uh, mitigation fund will establish a climate Uh, resilient urban flood uh, protection infrastructure in chennai i wish to request honorable uh, finance minister that the allocation to chennai may be further enhanced uh, con- considering the capacity risk and exposure of chennai city sir i would like to draw the attention on the uh, serious disruption faced by the textile industry in tamil nadu due to the escalation of prices of cotton and yarn a large number of spinning weaving and garment uh, units hence face the danger of closure i wish to request the government to initiate the following steps to rein the in the price rise as a immediate measure stock declaration of cotton and yarn may be made mandatory for all spinning mills so that the ginner and cotton trader uh, can obtain actual data on cotton and yarn availability the removal of import duty on extra long staple cotton uh, if done can ensure the availability of raw material at affordable prices to the industry to a great extent and the cash credit limit of the spinning mills to purchase cotton may be extended up to 8 months in a year instead of current 3 months due to extended availability of cotton market similarly with regard to the margin money sought by banks which are currently at 25% of purchase value i request the same may be reduced to 10% sir sir another concern is that regard to the severe crisis faced by the government sector in tamil nadu tirupur which is one india's largest knitwear exporting cl- cluster is 95% uh, constituted by the msme sir due to the economic slowdown in the west these units are facing huge financial crisis lacks of jobs including the a uh, significant share of rural women which form a major share of the workforce is facing a danger of being unemployed i work i wish to request the government to announce special emergency credit line guarantee scheme for the msme sector especially in the government sector so that they survey this crisis sir sir india has been the world uh, fastest growing major economy in the last 2 years it is also forecast to retain the uh, top spot in 2024 as a urbanization and industrialization uh, process reaches the rapid take up phase sir our honorable prime minister sri narendra modi has always champ- championed the role of youth in india's development in line with his vision viksit bharat at 2047 instead that has been launched providing a platform for the youth of our country to contribute towards making india a developed nation by 2020, 2047 in the 100 year 100 100 year of uh, its independence sir yes. our government has launched various schemes and initiatives to support the youth and provide them with the necessary resources to succeed it is now up to the youth to take advantage of this opportunity and uh, and contribute positively to the development of our nation sir thank you sir i will finish in 2 minutes sir on the agricultural front there is an estimated 45.8% of labor released from the sector in 
2023 as per the periodic labor force survey report which means going forward non agricultural growth will have to be high enough to absorb this labor and our economic policies should be aligned to facilitate this now absorption please. along with the labor substituting impact of new technology i wish to conclude by mentioning that focus should not only be on improving the economic indicators but their ici increasing challenge of pollution and climate change sir the severe air pollution in delhi and Please. other major urban areas is going to considerably reduce the life expense and uh, expectancy of our citizen which impacts the socio economic indicators of our country in the long run similarly urbanization industrial uh, industrialization and rapidly increasing incomes especially in the middle class will drive an enormous increase in demand for energy service now there will conclude. be more demand for power for air conditioning Sir, lightning and and, uh, and appliances as well uh, sir one minute i finish it sir no 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 please sir, as well as more liquid fuels are electricity sir sir indian urban population contributes 63% to the gdp which ex